guys. Um, sorry it's been so long, but again, it's just been a little bit crazy. Um, this is gonna be my 22 to 24 week update. I'm tw I just turned 25 weeks. Um, and I'm also gonna do like a little stupid gender reveal. It's not anything special, but um, what I'm gonna have, what I'm gonna do is in a few minutes, my girls are going to walk over and I'm going to have them either wearing pink shirts or blue shirts. Don't mind this situation. That's I got this like lip stain and it literally like <laughs> stained my lips. So anyways, uh, that's for me trying to remove it. But anyway, um, so I'll do that first. Um, we found out a few weeks ago what we are having. I currently have a eight and a half year old girl, seven year old <coughs> girl, and a three year old boy. So, um, I'll give you a minute to kind of guess what it is. And leave and a comment down below. Well, you can leave a comment below, but by the time, you know, you're going to see it, so. But anyways, make sure that you like and subscribe and all that good stuff and to see when this baby comes. And, um, after you see the gender... I'll go, I'm going to move into a different room and, and I'll, I'll do like my whole update. So anyway, um, without further ado, girls, hold on. I'm going to have one on each side. That's what I'm getting to. Okay. Um, <laughs> ready? Okay. One, two, three. It's a girl. <laughs> okay. Yep. Baby yeah, girl. Yeah. Something. Um, I, you, you guys might have been tricked by my mom because she's wearing a blue shirt, so you probably would have guessed that it was a boy. Wait, I need to say something. And now I just put my head on. And my sister is wearing a, a pink shirt over her blue shirt. Okay. And they both say love. All right, I'm, I'm going in. Okay. Goodbye, girls. Goodbye, mom. Goodbye. Have a great day. Goodbye. More craziness. Um, anyway, um, so, yeah, so having the baby girl, which is, I mean, we would have been happy either way. I don't want to say, but it's kind of what we wanted. Our son, um, is autistic, and, um, he is very, um, I don't know how to explain it. Like, you know, I was going to say he's a mama's boy. No, he's really a daddy's boy. Like, he keeps changing. But, um, I feel like it just, um, it would have been a little bit harder on him if it was a boy. I, I don't know why. I just do. Um, plus, there's that chance, um, you know, that, it, that if we had another one, it could have been autistic. Um, I actually know a lot of people that have... Like, if their son's autistic, they have one son autistic, they have another one autistic. And I think, actually, my husband has a friend who has, like, four sons that are autistic. Don't get me wrong, I love my son, and I wouldn't change him for the world. But it's hard to see him struggle. Um, you know, he doesn't speak, really. He's three. Um, he doesn't really talk. Um, he is in preschool now, and, you know, he did have therapy previously and now he's gonna have it a lot in school um <clears throat> he has shown some improvements he does say some little things um but i mean it's a, i'm not gonna lie it's a challenge um he gets frustrated sometimes when we can't figure out what it is that he wants we we mostly know what it's what he wants but you know um and it's hard to see so anyways um and plus, I think we were just, like, he's our boy. Like, we were just, I don't know, even my husband. Like, we all wanted, really wanted it to be a girl. But we would have been happy if it was a boy. I mean, either way, um, my youngest daughter, really, she's wanted a little sister for so long. Um, I know when we had my son, when we found out it was a boy, she cried. She was so mad. <laughs> So, um, I wish I could, I wish I recorded when I told the girls, because what I did was I went, um, with my husband and my son, we found out, and then I went to the bus stop to pick the girls, and I told the girls I would be wearing either a pink shirt or a blue shirt, 
And all I had was a white shirt with like pink sequins. So they didn't really pick up on it when they saw me. And then they were like, I was like, look. And my younger was like, what? And when I said it's a girl, my daughter screamed. All their friends at the bus stop screamed. Everybody screamed because they were so happy. And um, it was just, it was awesome. So everybody's like super excited. Um, we are naming her Ava. Um, originally, I would I liked the name Leah, but um, they do have a cousin Leah. So um, <clears throat> my husband really liked the name Ava, and he was like Ava, 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 and I was like, fine, okay. I eventually just like grew on me, and then I come to find out that my grandmother, who is a humongous part of my life, um, her great grandmother or her godmother or something her name was Ava so um I thought that was cool and I'm um, working out the middle name Michelle um Michelle is um I picked that name because that was my aunt's name um who passed away from cancer years ago um she is um my dad has one brother and that's it um and it was his wife and, um, you know, I'm super close to my cousin. She, he, he had one daughter and that's, um, we're like sisters and, and my aunt Michelle was, was just amazing. So her name will be Ava Michelle. Um, I did go to the doctor today. I'm, I'm high risk. Um, but so far everything's looking good. Um, I did have a talk with my doctor. Originally I was going to have my husband get a vasectomy, but after speaking with my doctor today, I am having a C-section again. And he was like, why don't you just get your tube side? Like, I'm going to be in there already. Like, just do it. And um, so I signed the papers, and that's what I'm going to do. Um, you know, I'm I'm, I'm going to be two months after I have this baby, I'll be 33. So it's not like I'm, like, super-duper young. It'll be my fourth kid. Like, I'm done. I don't want any more. Um, after I had my son, there was a piece of me that, like, kind of wanted another one, but, like, I, I didn't, I don't know, I, I wasn't, we weren't planning on doing it now, I'll tell you that, it's just, that kind of happened, but, um, I kind of knew I wanted another one, but I didn't know if I was actually going to do it, or what would happen, um, but this time, like, I don't feel that, like, I feel like this is it, like, I'm good, it's a little sad, it'll be my last time, but that's fine, anyway, I'm rambling and it's seven minutes into this video, but, um, real quick, honestly, my symptoms are the same. Um, I'm throwing up occasionally, but that's, you know, um, I'm tired, but I've, I've had a lot more energy. Um, I have a bad back anyway, and that has just been more aggravated. My sciatic nerve is, oh my gosh, it's been horrible. Um... Uh, you know, just it's pretty much the same. Um, I, my cravings, I've been craving like oranges and the salad. I still eat it, but that craving kind of went away. Um, this is really like, super thirsty and, um, I was craving maraschino cherries <laughs> and, um, I, oh, and at my doctor's appointment. I only gained five pounds, which is great. So, anyway, I'm going to go because it's almost at ten minutes. But, um, I will do next week, like, when I turn 26 weeks, I'll do another video. So, please make sure to like and subscribe so you can see this journey, um, of baby Ava and, um, the rest of my kids. And, um, that's it. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.